Alrighty, so I'm here with uh, George Van Gassen, owner of Scorpion, and um, we're at Urcha 2017. Uh, it's over, um, but I'm here with George to ask him some questions about the different products that you, they have. Uh, there's no doubt uh, from the event this year that Scorpion definitely has a high presence. I mean, you have people flying around with the motors on numerous helicopters, um, but the Scorpion ESCs have definitely been a big hit. And I have noticed a ton of pilots that have switched over and they're flying with the Tribunus. They love the, the telemetry. Uh, I haven't seen one person uh, really have a shutdown on their ESC in the, in the heat. Um, and it just seems to be a real hit. So I want to ask you real quick, maybe maybe we could just, I can ask you real quick about the, uh, the Tribunus. How long was that to bring to uh, market? About four and a half years. Four and a half years. Yes. From, from concept to design to testing and then improving design, continuing testing. Yeah, it took four and a half years. Okay. Uh, and I noticed, I mean, the, the one thing that a lot of people seem to really like about it is that you have uh, the telemetry, telemetry information. But I mean, it's full integration with the, tri with the V control, but with the brain. So it's like you covered all, all the bases there. How did that come about? Um, I think in the beginning of the system, uh, in, a, in the beginning of the design stage of the system, uh, we started talking with different manufacturers uh, to have this idea uh, to integrate our system into talking with their system. Mm -hmm. I, I think it's um, it's not a good thing uh, to have all separate system in, 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 I mean, in a helicopter you have three, four system and yeah, that doesn't yeah. talk to each other and that for me doesn't make sense. So we started talking with some manufacturer uh, of uh, flight control system and radio and some were very happy uh, to work with us, some were mm -hmm. reluctant, mm -hmm. and, um, but we started especially with, uh, with Mikado, they were very uh, acceptable mm -hmm. of the idea mm -hmm. that we had and they developed on their side app that will support mm -hmm. our, mm -hmm. our system as well, mm -hmm. so it, it, it has been a very successful uh, cooperation between different companies, Icon as well. Um, and I honest, I mean, the other thing I noticed too was that, um, which was kind of interesting, um, Another thing I also noticed, so you, you had the 120 amp, and it seems like you skipped over the 160 and you went straight to the 200 amp. Is yes. that correct? Um, the, the 120 amp is a 6S system, so that's made for mainly for 550, 480, that okay. size of okay. helicopter, or even if you're not flying too hard mm -hmm. on 600, 6S setup. Um, the 200 amp is mainly designed for 700 class to 800 class helicopter. Okay. Okay. Uh, for for us, um, we are currently developing a 12S 130 amp, uh, which uh, will be suitable for 600 class helicopter oh, okay. or two meter plane. Okay. Uh, uh, when you want to fly 12S or 10S okay. setup, okay. Um, that makes more sense to us to have uh, a 130 and yes. then directly to 200 because the 160 is kind of in the middle. Mm -hmm. In the past, it was sufficient, but now with the new batteries, new motors, you know, everything gets more powerful. Mm -hmm. So for a 700 class helicopter, uh, 160 is kind of small. Mm -hmm. um, for any 3D helicopter, you will easily peak over 200 amps. Mm -hmm. Actually, we, we've seen people peaking at 240, 260 amp mm -hmm. on 3D flight. So um, a 160 is not enough. Mm -hmm. Yeah, because um, I mean, I, I noticed a lot of pilots such as myself, uh, you know, we really like that 200 amp and it, it seems to me, you know, like even me in my own situation, you know, I had a set of 100 class helicopter and, you know, you look at the Scorpion Tribunus in the 200 amp for the price and for the size because, it, you know, it's so small and compact and you say to yourself, you know, I could get a 160 amp, but then I could get the Scorpion Tribunus for pretty much about the same money, the same size, the same weight, and does everything I, I do with full integration. So it seemed to be like, like you're saying, you know, definitely the, the, a good choice to make. Um, it is. Because the, the, the size of this helicopter, although it's a 200 amp mm -hmm. uh, in, in capacity, uh, capability, I mean, um, the, the form factor and the size is actually quite small. Mm -hmm. It's actually uh, smaller than 
all of the other 200 amp uh, speed controller on the market. Uh, and so yeah. it's really easy to fit inside your helicopter because they are not that big in size. They are no. big in heart, but yeah. definitely not big in size. Yeah. Especially something like a speed helicopter, you don't have a lot of room to begin with. Absolutely, yes. Now, do you have any plans for maybe a smaller size? So you have the 120. What about something smaller? Like we will have the 130. 60? Okay, the 130. Uh, 12S130. Okay, okay. And then we will have our uh, 300 amps uh, made for uh, speed or for even larger helicopter okay. airplane application. Okay, okay. Yeah. Now, uh, how about on the motor end? I, I believe um, you have motors coming out that I heard yes, about. Yes, uh, we are. We just uh, released the 4525, the, okay. the HK2. I heard, yeah. uh, so that's an improvement that we did on the 4525 uh, series that has been ongoing since about five years. Okay. It took us also three, four years in, in order to in get a better design and, and testing. And finally, we, we found how to make it better. So okay. Uh, the new the new 4525 uh, will eventually also the, the, that new technology new new concept that we have will be spreading uh, to a whole range of motor. Okay, okay, excellent. Um, now, uh, also I wanted to ask you real quick as far as the speed end. I believe you have it and you have a motor dedicated for speed. Yes, we do. Yeah, and that is which one. We have actually two speed motors. Two speed motors. De depending on, uh, do you want to fly uh, a light setup okay. under six kilo? Okay. Then we have a fifty twenty five. Okay. Uh, and if you don't care about the weight, uh, we have the fifty forty, like okay. this one that I'm using. Okay. Uh, so, so it sounds like to me like you're pretty much covering all the bases. You know, which is really, really good. You know, it's smaller and a lot. And I think we we, we basically cover everything you need in the in, in the model okay. uh, airplane or, or helicopter model. We have hundreds of different sizes and spec. Uh, yes, you do. We have <laughs> a fairly true. large range. Yes. <laughs> Don't do with that. Yeah. Um, now, I, I've also had people say to me, and I, and I want to ask you, um, you know, I, I is it a myth or does it make sense or because you would know. Um, I've had people say to me, you know, if you have a Scorpion motor, you know, get the Scorpion ESC. It's good to run the same motor and the same ESC from the same manufacturer. Does that really, is that, I mean, is that myth and legend or is it really true maybe that somehow, you know, if you have a Scorpion motor and Scorpion ESC, not that they're both excellent components, I'm not saying that, but I'm saying, you know, is there a difference if you mix and match the, the ESC and the motor? Does it make a difference? Well, I will say this. You know, um, Contronic, mm -hmm. they will test their speed controller on Contronic motors first. Okay, right? okay. Everything will be optimized for the Contronic for speed the controller to work well with yeah. their own motor. Okay. And then after that, they might think of other motors. Okay. Uh, in, in our case, uh, it's the same. Okay. Everything we, we make first are going to be tested on our own motor, so we will make sure that the combination works excellently. Okay. Um, all the other brands of motor for us will be secondary. Okay. So uh, will we do such a, a, a good test with, with other brands of motor? No, we won't. So uh, sometimes so it's not just legend. It does no, make it's sense. Not. It it's does make true. It does uh, make I sense. Mean, okay. Uh, we have had our motor uh, causing troubles uh, for other other brands oh, okay. of ESC. Okay. And uh, or we had other brands of motor causing trouble to our ESC in the past. Okay. And that's not a myth. That's an actual fact. It's an actual fact. We okay. can't test every motor on the market. Yeah. And Which they can't sense. test every motor that we make neither. Okay. So okay. we make sure that. The, that our speed controller works perfectly with our motor because okay. that makes sense. But for the other motor manufacturer, we don't get samples from them, or yeah. you know, we yeah. actually can't test every every one of them. So will will they work in in perfect harmony? Okay. I don't know. They will work in general. They yeah. will. But okay. will it be as perfect as a combination like this? Yeah. Yeah. Maybe not. Probably Maybe not. not. Okay. Well, thank you. That that definitely clarifies that. Um, now, there's one thing I could definitely say. There's no doubt you have a high visibility in the hobby. I mean, you're you're out in the front line, flying with everybody. You're at the Speed Cup competing. You know, how many events uh, a year do you usually go to? 
And he, <laughs> I don't know. <laughs> you don't know, that many? <laughs> <laughs> I think uh, basically I have at least one event every month somewhere, okay. you know, sometime two. And uh, yeah, I, I, I think I limit myself to maximum two events per month, maximum. Oh, two, to yeah. maximum two events. Yes. How many times a year do you usually come to the USA? Do you think for events? Um, because I know you're at all at least five or six times a year. Five or six, yeah. yeah. I mean, your Facebook feed is always interesting because you know it's like I'm in this part of the world, but now I'm in that part of the world, and then I'm in this part of the world. So it definitely is. Uh, Sometimes I wake up in the morning and I have to ask myself, <laughs> where am I? Where are they? the time change? Probably like I feel tired, so I must be uh, in this part of the world. I know. Yes. Yes. Um. So another thing I want to ask you is. Um, and I'm kind of interested in now say you have a tribunus and uh, Say something fair. Well not fail say you crash well that or like most likely in my chase in my case That will have probably happened. Hopefully not soon But say you crash or you burn out your BEC on there. Is there a way to send it back and have it fixed? well um, electronic are kind of delicate mm -hmm. so yes uh, Sometime we can fix them. Okay. Uh, when you have a problem with our product, it's always easier uh, just to you know contact support at sphk.com. Okay. Uh, so our support email, and uh, depending on the situation, we will tell you either you can fix it yourself or on a motor or you know or what you do or, mm -hmm. or or tell you what kind of test you have to do to make sure that the. the the it's system working. is working, oh, yeah. and uh, if it's not, uh, yeah, we can we can always arrange for the customer to send the product back to us, mm -hmm. and we will see uh, can it be fixed or not. Mm -hmm. um, in the worst case scenario, all our product has a crash warranty, a lifetime crash warranty. So mm -hmm. uh, you can at least uh, buy the same product at half price mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. if we physically have your damaged controller or motor back in our hand and we see it can't be repaired, we will give you an option that you can buy a new one at half price. Oh wow, that's really generous. Yeah. That definitely ah, but generous. we keep the, we of course keep the damaged one so that well, it's not it's, review, re, reviewed. Yeah, that, yeah right? definitely, but, yes. but that definitely is very generous. Yeah, so, that's, so that's how uh, we try to help in the uh, There is definitely some good some situation. customer support yeah. okay, uh, so on hand. Uh, I wanted to ask you, uh, the one last question I wanted to ask uh, was that I heard that you were making uh, speed blades? Um, I wouldn't say we are making. Uh, the blade are actually manufactured by Funky. Okay. Uh, they, they manufacture this uh, especially for us. Uh, okay. The blade has been designed by myself and, and Chance uh, Shu of RC mania.hk okay uh, it's mainly his idea in the beginning and then uh, we started working together and um, uh, funky was nice enough uh, to make one single set of tooling so we can make one blade at a time okay and then they try to match them so um, it doesn't cost too much for the development because we, we make only one set of tooling mold I mean. okay uh, the blade is not commercially available uh, they are very slow to make and so they are very expensive mm -hmm. um, and they are not suitable uh, for any other application anyway, really, it's only for, for speed. speed yeah. uh, they are very efficient uh, compared to any other blade on market, mm -hmm. they are mm -hmm. actually, they draw nearly 20% less amp okay. for the same okay. speed. And, um, but uh, when, when Funky make them for us, uh, they made about 10, 10 set batch and takes about six months okay. because they can only okay. make one blade per day okay and it's a slow process yeah it's a, it's a different process yeah. i mean i noticed that they almost have like that boomerang curve on the end now how how does that is there any way to explain how that makes the blade more efficient or just um actually this is this is not not something revolutionary that we have invented okay um this concept has been uh, uh Developed and proved by a Eurocopter. Okay. Okay. And um, the theory behind this is with the with this, uh, it's like a like a wing with back mm -hmm. uh, sweeping. Mm -hmm. So um, it allows you to uh, to approach the sonic speed uh, much closer than conventional blade. Okay. So let's say a, conven a conventional blade, you can uh, uh, reach probably 0.88 mark. Okay. Um, and 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 
Above that, the blades start to be inefficient and, and, and start to um, stall on the tip uh, because they, they, they are too close to the sonic speed. Okay. Uh, those blades over here, uh, we can reach up to 0.92 okay. and above. So, um, and also on high angle of attack, that means high pitch, mm -hmm. um, they, they, they stall much later than any other blade. Okay, they stall much later. Yeah, theoretically we can run those blades up to 20 degree pitch. Okay, yeah. okay, interesting. Now on your speed, so on your speed runs, when you were flying it, how much pitch were you using? I'm using 17 and a half to 18. Wow. Yeah. <laughs> That's a lot of pitch. Yes. <laughs> and what RPM were you turning at? 2,900. 2,900, wow, yes. pretty impressive. All right, well thank you. I really appreciate you uh, taking the time to answer some questions. Thank you You're very welcome. much. It's a pleasure.